<laughs> okay, and welcome to this week's uh, Moto Show uh, in California. A little bit warmer than u- usual, Stu. Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, first day at Milestone yesterday was rather hot, and then we've had a nice, cool day sightseeing today, and it was a bit milder, but still a little bit warmer than home. We're actually, we've got a crowd watching today, all the boys from uh, the UK who's come over for uh, a trip to California. And uh, if you want to go around the back, you can always say hello. <laughs> who's going to bomb the pool first? Yeah, who's going to bomb the pool first? Hey, guys. So that's the boys from the UK at Ride California. Yep. Uh, we are going to have, a, they say we're going to have a, a bit of a, a diving competition afterwards. But uh, is, is he actually going to dive in the pool? Oh! That made some noise. <laughs> so Nathan's jumped in the pool. Fair play, because it's freezing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've been here now. It's our second day. Uh, still getting over the old jet lag. First day at Milestone. Good day. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, I've been there before. Uh, the track's good. In fact, it has improved a lot in the last four years since we've been there. They've added about three or four more tracks, by the looks of it. Ah, it's awesome. Uh, they've got two kids' tracks. They've got a vet track. They've got the main track. Every single track was absolutely chock a blocky. Eh? A few pros there. Bogle, uh, Justin Bogle was back. And Jake Weimer, who we spoke to, is uh, the interview's online. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention the Supercross track. So uh, Jake Weimer was out there. He was looking awful good, and it was good to have a chat with him. I think he, he well, we got a good vibe off him, didn't we? He was looking happy and uh, good on the bike. And then also on the far side of the circuit, they have the Geico Supercross test track. And who were the two riders out there? We thought, first of all, it was Osborne, but I can't pronounce Pes- it. Yeah. Pesicula? Pescuglia, yeah, something like that. I can't remember his first name. Apologies for that. But, um, yeah, and today, obviously yesterday, we sort of a uh, milestone, then we went for a meal with, the, with all the boys, and then uh, today we've sort of done a bit of traveling around different uh, stores and stuff, went to uh, Alias, the Alias. factory, the clothing company in the States, been around for about a, just over a year now, sponsors of uh, Geico Honda, and we went to my first trip to Lang- Langston Motorsport. Yeah, it was good. Uh, both stores very impressive. Uh, like we found out some new facts about was it Alias. Yeah, uh, sort of taken over from where No Fear left off. And uh, I've got to say, it's very impressive. Same owner, owner basically, who sold no, no Fear and then decided to restart uh, something else, Alias. That's right. And uh, what about that motorhome? Yeah, they had the world's biggest uh, motorhome in on their drive, which was uh, insane. But uh, yeah, it was a, a decent, it was a, a different trip, wasn't it? I'd say. All the boys actually come away with um, bags of goodies, so fair play. Yeah, they got some good deals out of them straight from the factory. Uh, and Langston Motorsport, we spoke speaking to uh, Grant Langston's sister today. Yeah, Whitney, I think. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen her. I mean, I was having a wee chat with them because I was doing Grand Prix the same year as when Grant won his first world title in 2000. Uh, I was in the 250 class, so just having a good chat with his sister and it's nice that they have all of Grant's uh, I was nearly going to say every single one of Grant's championship winning bikes but unfortunately they were telling us about a break-in they had a few years ago even in the States they have uh, a break-in she basically said they drove the lorry through the front of the shop so uh, and took the bikes and they found the bike uh, somebody doing wheelies just locally in the street in the old bill and arrested them basically and took the bike back but the, the, the police actually give them bike the bike straight back yeah, that was good. What the, I think the story was, there was some dude, hillbilly, uh, doing donuts and wheelies out in the streets, and they just busted his ass straight away and got the bike back. That was his West Coast title bike, but unfortunately, they never reclaimed the East Coast bike, so they've been working with Mitch at Pro Circuit to try and rebuild a replica of that uh, in, I think, what year, 2005? Yeah. And they, they, she also said uh, they, they haven't got the uh, World Championship bike, which is a shame. Yeah, his first one on KTM in 2000. Uh, I think they were talking about the contract. They maybe forgot to put that in the contract. As most riders, most pro riders, when they win a championship, they the contract is to keep the bike they've won. Uh, but some riders forget, and uh, he missed out. But I'm sure KTM somewhere along the line. In fact, I know they've got the bike in their factory somewhere, and uh, be nice for him to get it back. 
Well, yeah, it'll go along with the rest of them. That is a, a very impressive lineup there. Uh, in fact, talking about just give Grant the credit he deserves. Uh, 125 World Champion, 125 AMA Motocross Champion, 250 East and 250 West Supercross Champion. He's a AMA Supermoto Champion, and of course that 2007 450 Outdoor AMA Champion. So that's a, a very the only rider ever to win all major 125 championships around the world. Yeah, four of them. Yeah, that's a CV. So what have we got planned tomorrow then, Stu? Hopefully it was a little bit overcast today, still warmish. Oh, we can tell you where we went. We went to the uh, the beach. Yeah, what was it called again? Oceans. Oceanside, yeah, yes. On the, pier. on the pier and we uh, chatted up some birds, didn't we? <laughs> there is a little video on which I'm going to play now and uh, as you can see, uh, actually uh, Stu chatting up the women, uh, the good birds. <laughs> and a couple of the lads, uh, Trying to get their selfies with the uh, so with the locals as well, <laughs> but um, yeah, tomorrow I think tonight the the plan is to go to the Twisted Kilt. I haven't got a clue what that is all about. Something to do with kilts and girls, and um, and then tomorrow we yeah yeah girls and big boobs and and then tomorrow we head to uh, Kahu is it Kahula Kahula Kahala Kahunas. Kahuna's. <laughs> Is it Kahuna oh, track? We've heard about three different pronunciations, but um, it looks awesome online. I've never been there yet. Uh, Kahula or Kahuyo. More of a natural European type sort of track. Yeah, I think from what I've heard of the description, and we've seen a few videos, is uh, a little bit more floor and a little bit bigger area of a track. Uh, maybe a little bit sandier soil as well. And from what we hear is uh, the boys are looking forward to that one. It sounds like a great place, so we'll be at Kahuna. It's supposed to be colder up there as well, by all accounts. That might be nice. Uh, Sean there from Ochter, Mukti and Fife, uh, found it a bit hot on the first day at Milestone, uh, like we say. He is ginger and Scottish. I don't think <laughs> Dr. Mukti get any sunshine. Ochter, Mukti. Can you is say Ochter? Can you say Ochter, Mukti? Is that where you're from? Ochter, Mukti. Ochter, Mukti. So you also work in a shop as well, don't you? You want to give them a shout out? <laughs> Drysdales? Do they know you're here? <laughs> be quite funny. I'm a sick. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got a, a trip there tomorrow, and then uh, there's a couple of other little things planned. But uh, if anyone's, well, if anyone, get, you know, in the winter you, you've got nothing better to do, and you've got a few, a few quid spare. California is definitely the place to come. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm, my training has been going very busy, but we really struggle at this time of year. And we talked about that. It's not just Scotland that struggles. Uh, it's, it's the whole of the UK is not too good right now. Uh, and as you said, yeah, in, into Europe's not really much better. So pack our bags, come to California. This is my third time here now. Uh, we came here together last time back in 2010, but it's something I'm going to put on my calendar every year now. And uh, we get on great with Sam here at Ride California. The boys are impressed with the facilities. Oy. So, yeah, we'll be back every year, I reckon. It's uh, it's awful good. We're only two days in, so we've got loads to go. Two days in. It's the first of our uh, shorter shows from the States. And uh, hopefully we'll be back uh, tomorrow or uh, what's the day today? Tuesday? Tuesday. Yeah, it's uh, still jet lagged. I don't know. I was up at 4 o'clock this morning, U uh, US time, so... Head's a bit spinny, but um, yeah, all good. So we'll see you uh, back here probably in the next couple of days with another show from either one of the tracks or another destination, possibly in the hot tub. I reckon it looks good. Well, it's a bit cold right now, so it'll be the cold tub. The boys are just about to jump straight in with the clothes on. <laughs> Come on. It's not exactly. It's, it's not exactly. It's, yeah, it's not exactly cold. It's sort of like um, I don't know. What do you reckon? Sixty-five. It's still quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it was 31 yesterday. So, uh, yeah, okay, well, we'll see you in the, uh, hopefully uh, on another show in the next uh, day or so. So, from us, from Stu. See you later, guys. We're away to uh, crack a beer. See you later. <laughs>